Hey guys, and welcome back to another overdue dysfunctional vlog. I haven't uploaded a vlog in a really long time, and I feel like a lot has happened this summer. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty crazy. A little mini update. I think going forward, I'm going to be doing a weekly vlog for you guys, and I don't think I'm going to be putting that much thought into it. I think it's just going to be like my day-to-day -day life. So if something like funny happens, entertaining, I'm going to catch a vlog of it and I will just do like a mashup. I feel like I've just been putting way too much thought into the vlog. I've been thinking that these vlogs need to be educational or about makeup. And it's just like, you know what? No, a vlog is about you. These are supposed to be more relatable. So I think I'm just going to do mashups every week of just funny things with Mike and I because obviously I live with Mike so obviously the majority of my time is spent with him but you will see outside of my job what I'm doing just like snippets here and there some of them will be much longer than others but the vlogs are like gonna be consistent from here on out but I wanted to hop on here and just like get my face prepped for my video so I'm gonna do some of my pre skincare makeup routine with you guys because I did wash my face um, using the Mario Badesco Enzyme Cleansing Gel. Favorite one for all of my dry skinned buddies out there or sensitive skin people. That one's really, really great for me. And I have both of those things. So what am I gonna do? Exuviance, this is the Collagen Triple Boost Serum. I'm not gonna really talk about the products though. This is a vlog, hi. So I'm just gonna do my skincare while I catch up with you guys. So I signed up for beauty school. That is a very recent thing in the last month. I am a part of the Online Makeup Academy. So I'm trying to get my certification to become a makeup artist. I know you can be like a freelance makeup artist and you don't necessarily need a certificate, but I just felt like that would make me more legit and it would definitely, if anything, just teach me a little something. I also was going to hire someone to do my wedding makeup. I'm getting married. Mike and I are getting married next June, um, but I think I'm just gonna do it myself. So that's also gonna be coming up on the channel is me attempting to figure out how and if I myself am going to do my wedding makeup. That's crazy. Crazy. I have just had a lot of anxiety lately. Like I just don't feel comfortable. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm taking this makeup course. Being comfortable is so comfortable, right? Obviously it just feels good. You know what's coming up every day. You just are like in your zone, your routine. You don't really have to think about it. But like going on this makeup artistry journey i just have no idea where i'm gonna land i have no idea if i'm going to be as amazing as i picture myself being if that makes any sense so again me getting in my own way these are just like deep talks but i feel like i've just been like going through it and i feel like i've just been so busy lately and i just can't handle it all so i'm trying to really find a routine here that works for me because the summer is coming to an end so my actual job is going to pick up and i really really need that schedule and that foundation and that just like discipline but i feel like i'm just freaking out about it oh i'm freaking out i feel like the unknown is very scary i'm just trying to enjoy my summer but enjoying my summer has really put off other things that i really need to be doing you only get like three months out of the year to just enjoy the weather on the east coast like it's freezing here all the rest of the time so i feel like that's also giving me some anxiety because i have things in the pipeline that need to get done and i've just been like putting them off because it's like sunny beach tan outside shore house to work it's just like a lot and then like school work in between and filming in between and editing all my videos in between i'm just like damn i'm getting a little worked up and i want to bring positive energy into my no foundation makeup routine video that's what I'm filming, and then my eye cream video. So I need positive vibes, positive feels. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do my no foundation routine and decompress myself. But I'm getting better at it, because I am talking about things. I just also like to deal with things on my own, you know? All right guys, it is the next morning. Mike and I are going to the venue soon, and I literally have like 10 minutes to get ready seriously so just got out of the shower i don't know what my hair is doing i'm not feeling myself today it's that time of the month but we're gonna power through i'm gonna make myself look cute i really don't know what my hair is doing i put in a ton of dry shampoo and then i put these clips in i don't know i got them off of amazon i will link them down below please do ignore the hair in today's vlog i'm gonna wash it later i think Vici mineral 89 daily booster serum it's supposed to be like really hydrating i have yet to use this but i'm just gonna do a really really quick makeup look belief moisture eye balm and hydrate the eyes 
I organized all my beauty stuff and the stuff in my closet. Have you all ever experienced like when I put things away, that's when I can never find them. I'm just like an organized mess. Um, so I'm having a lot of difficulty locating products, a bunch of stuff today. Um, but I'm going to be taking my Drunk Elephant. These are the Dia Bronzy Anti-Pollution and the serum. I'm gonna mix them together and make kind of like a skincare concoction for my face without using foundation. And just rub this into the skin. And both of these products are serums, so this is like the ultimate skincare conjunction. This is just the kind of product where you have to take some time blending. And if you're oily, just FYI, this also makes you very shiny, at least for me. Like, but I like the glow, it's nice. Anywhere that you couldn't really get to blend that well, I hit it with the sponge. Them dark circles, cokey, be bright. Just putting this wherever I need a little extra coverage. So we need to get a feel for the venue today because we need to figure out what kind of flowers we want. Like, and I need to be on the same page. I feel like I don't care until the last minute and then I care and it's like, well, you said you didn't care this entire time. That's just like me. Anyone else like that? Like, oh, let's not worry about it. Put it off until it's like we come down to the decision and then it's like, I can't become kind of like Bridezilla a little bit, but like not as bad as Mike. Don't tell my son that. <laughs> He's gonna be really mad when he watches this. <laughs> I'm thinking like old Hollywood glam might be the theme, but we're gonna see at the venue. Those are just my thoughts. I'm thinking a little bit of red and gold, even though it is summer. I feel like red roses make me think of the winter time, but I think you can make red flowers summertime as well. I don't know, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. I need a little bit more coverage in some areas because I'm just really red. This is becoming a lot more than a quick routine. Very quickly. <laughs> uh. Oh, I took the Tarte Tape Shape. Did I say that? I don't know. I'm mixing it up. I bought this exclusively for makeup, like makeup serum. I don't know. And since I'm going to makeup school now, I thought it would be good to add a good addition to my kit. All right. I just need a little contour. I need a little chisel moment today. Glam touring, do I even need to say what it is? You know, nothing serious, nothing serious, nothing serious. Same sponge. I'm a little nervous to go to the venue. Where's my brush? Translucent Veil Setting Powder on a fluffy brush. Oh, I love this powder. Meow. You guys are getting like a full tutorial in this vlog. This is why I feel like I'm not good at vlogs because I'm really like, what am I doing? I mean, I'm gonna show you the venue, but like most of the time, like I'm at home playing with makeup. The same crap you always see me do. I really wanna be like chattier in this portion of the video, but I'm like really rushing here. Beach Cosmetics, love this stuff. Slapping this on the face. If you need to get something done in a hurry, this brush is literally everything. I really love it for the neck because it's like whoever wants to really bring their makeup down like I do because I have to, but I really don't want to. Bronzed Betch Collab Soft Blush and just for fun. Fenty. I just feel like something fun today. Oh yeah. I love this highlighter. Let's put this on the eyeballs. A look, a look. Tinted brow gel. I really want to try soap brows. Mm. Who says you can only use one highlighter at a time? Hmm. I'm not talking at all on this, am I? This is such a boring video. I love this mascara. Okay, we need a lip, we need a lip, we need a lip. Mm, mm, mm. Should we do Dior? I feel like I'm very doer looking right now. Hold on. You all know what I'm gonna do. Don't act like you don't. Blushing beige. All right, and I need to line them. Just gotta do it. BH Cosmetics and Earth. Oh, I love this one, yes, yes. Is it ever really a lip if you don't use three products? I don't know, okay? Let's set it and forget it because I spent a lot more time than I thought I was going to. It's gonna be a long day. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. What do we think? I'm into this. Ooh, girl, I love this lip. As always, 
definitely always pack your lip products. These are definitely going in the bag. And I'll see you guys on the way to the venue, at the venue, whenever I remember to pull my camera out. Here we go, let's go. I didn't get your head in it. I'm trying to be better. Life changing experience. Thank you, senor. I missed this lobby. It smells nice in here. It does smell nicer than usual. It does. I like it. It looks cleaner too. This didn't change though. Do we think it will? No. I still feel like we're walking through the Titanic. You know, like this is the lower deck. All right, nobody better bother us. That's so bright in here. We're in the room. We're in the room. Look at that chandelier. Are these all real? Yeah. Where do you think they put the food? I would imagine they put the food along this side, no? Like outside? Should we go outside? Watch the alarm like goes off? Just don't do it. Okay, here we go. There's a brick. I like a brick. So we're thinking cocktail hour out here? Well, like the ch the tables and chairs out here? Have tables and chairs out here. Buzz. No, it would be nice if we could put like um, high tables Couple here high, and you like could just standards. stand there. Yeah. And then we can have some tables and chairs out here for the people who need to sit to sit. High tops up here too. Yeah, yeah, and then just have like tables and chairs here. But you gotta think like, think where does the tables, food go? I think those tables are too big. They would set them up here. I like your shirt. Matchy, matchy. We do. Flowers and flowers. Matchy, matchy. Um, I hope I got that on the camera. So cocktail hour is gonna be out here. Weather permitting, I really hope that it's nice out. I think we need rounder tables, like I said. Not these kind of tables, because I feel like if they're rounder, it'll be more up against the perimeter of the room. So it'll take less space in, in the out, middle. In and out, in and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, I don't, I think this is, I don't like this. And like, I personally would be mad if I got that seat. Like, that's a right shitty seat to have. Floor. Yeah, I don't like that. Like, I wouldn't like that sitting right there. That would suck. All the people dancing around you, the sweetheart table is where you are standing. And I want like a, not like a super long table. What do you think? A rectangle though, not that. Oh, you want a rectangular I don't like the circle one. The ceremony is going to be right here. Are we getting an archway? Yeah, for sure. But we need to figure out the color and the theme. That's really the main reason of my visit today, personally potential cocktail hour in case it rains. It's not that bad. I thought it was going to be a lot darker. Yeah, it's I mean, not, it's I mean, not I great. Be outside, but these pictures remind me of like pictures that my grandma would have in her house. Yeah, not really an attractive feature, but but it's not dark, dark. It's not gonna rain, though. Okay, wait, can we get that on camera? Yes. It's Whoa, shit! Whoa. I almost fell. Reporting live from the potential cocktail hour scene. This is Michael D'Angelo for Action News Five. It's not gonna rain. Okay, thank you. You can predict that. Um, almost a year out. Yeah. Look at that butt. Wee. I really don't like those things. Okay, babe. So we can figure it out with them. Figure it out. I mean, it just looks like a cover. Like, the do they even the iron them? I don't like the white things or the hanging things. I don't like the white thing. The I mean, thing, I wish we could just take the whole thing down, the to thing be honest. The thing that's wrapping the thing. Yeah, it's like tacky looking. I feel like I'm at Michael's. I don't like it. Take them off. 